Hey, what's up all you do-it-yourselfers? My name is Dylan Taylor. This is Dylan's DIY Workshop, and today we are going to be making something that I need to make to solve a problem. We're going to be making this thing right here. It's going to be a little hold down for a laser. So, uh, as many of you know, uh, I have a CO2 laser, and this is the problem we're solving today. The plywood that we have is almost always bowed in one way or another, and this just doesn't work for the laser. It, it needs to be flat for it to cut properly. And so that's the problem we're going to solve today. We're going to make some hold-down toggles. Okay, so first things first, I need some wood for that, and I want it to be about an inch long and half an inch wide, or somewhere around those measurements. So I'm gonna to go to my scrap wood rack and see if I can find some. I also know that there's gonna be quite a bit of tension on this, so I want it to be a stronger wood. So my first thought for most of the things that need to be strong and also small is maple. Next thing I need is some hardware. I've decided that I want to make this the same thread as an outlet would thread to a box because it's a very common thread. I need 10 of them at least. So my maple was already milled down into 16th inch strips. I was using them for a different project a number of years ago, but they were all taped up, so we, we're gonna use those. Uh, I'm going to cut them all to approximately an inch and a half. And to the workbench now, uh, we've got some splintered edges. That's just because of the saw that we used. And we're gonna take that down with just a regular single cut bastard file. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this to all the edges so that they're nice and round, so that we don't get any splinters and slivers. Just using a regular little drill bit now. Size doesn't really matter, just as long as the head of the screw doesn't fall through that. I've stacked them all so that I could do it all in one, one pass as well. As uh, my editor mentioned, these look like Cheez-Its. Don't eat them though. Here we are using a countersink bit and we're just running them by hand just to get rid of the bird edges. Here we have the vector grid or cutting table from the laser. I've got it in the shop and had it in a bag because it really stinks from all of the, the burnt wood. And time that. Just using the proper size drill bit here for the hole to be the same thread as the screws that we found. There we go, so I've got three holes on the end and four holes on the sides. I'm just gonna use this board as an example because it's the same material we use in the laser. Open these bad boys up. So these screw holes are for the screws that we found earlier to hold down these toggles. And we got another clip here showing just how wonky the board that we're trying to hold down is. So by just holding it down here and here, I was able to get the whole board flat enough that the laser can run across and not get any closer at any specific spot, within reason. Hello? Hey, are you gonna record an outro? But I can't. I'll, I'll come up with something. So guys, this is video. Those clips fit awesome on here. Thanks for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed today, like the video. Also share the video. See you in the next video. And peace out. This thing smells so bad. But man, does this ever give you like a big headache? So I'm actually getting a little bit lightheaded from this, not uh, because my glasses are so tight around my head. Mm -hmm.